In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to send an invite on Outlook Calendar. This process is straightforward and can be completed in just a few minutes, making it a great tool for efficiently coordinating with colleagues, friends or family. Whether you're organising a meeting, scheduling an appointment or planning an event, using Outlook's calendar invite feature is a reliable way to ensure everyone is informed and on the same page. To begin, let's start at the beginning, logging in. First, navigate to the Microsoft Outlook login page. You can do this by searching for Microsoft Outlook in your web browser or by entering the URL directly if you're already familiar with it. Once there, you'll see the sign in button prominently displayed on the page. Outlook is part of the Microsoft 365 suite, meaning you will need to use a Microsoft account to access it. If you already have an account, simply click on sign in and enter your credentials to proceed. For those who might not have an account yet, there's usually an option to create one on the sign in page itself. Once you're logged in, you'll be directed to your mail page by default. Here is where you can manage your emails, but today we're going to focus on the calendar feature. Look at the top right or left area of your screen. This location might vary slightly based on updates or personalized settings. You should find a small grid icon known as the App Launcher. Click this icon and you'll see a menu with different Microsoft 365 apps. Select the calendar icon from this menu to proceed. You've now navigated to the Outlook calendar, a powerful scheduling tool designed to help you stay organized. Here you will see a monthly view of your calendar with all of your upcoming appointments and events displayed. To send an invite, we first need to create or choose an existing event. Simply find the date for which you want to schedule or modify an event and click on it. For instance, clicking on a specific day will bring up any planned activities, or you can choose to create a new event from here. After clicking on the chosen date, you'll be prompted to fill out the basic details of your event. This often includes the event's title, timing and location. If it's an existing event you've selected, you might already have this information filled in. Next, click on the edit button. This will open up more options for customizing your event, a handy feature if any details need to be adjusted. To ensure your invite is comprehensive, choose more options. This step unfolds additional fields and settings. Here you can change the reminder settings, add a description to give invitees more context about the meeting and include attachments if needed. These steps are not required but can enhance the clarity and organization of your invitation. Now it's time to invite attendees. Clicking on the invite attendees option is crucial because it enables you to add the contacts you want to attend the event. A text field will appear where you can type in email addresses. Add as many email addresses as needed by separating them with commas. If you frequently collaborate with certain people, they might even autofill as you type. As you're typing in the invitees' emails, you'll have the chance to add additional information or personalize the invitation. Consider including a friendly message or a brief agenda to give recipients an understanding of what to expect. Once you're satisfied with how everything looks, be sure to review all details one last time to confirm accuracy. After entering the recipient's emails and any additional information, your event is ready to be sent as an invitation. The final step involves clicking send. Once your invitation has been dispatched, each attendee will receive an email notification. Additionally, their own Outlook calendar, if they use it, will automatically update with the event details, keeping everything streamlined. And there you have it, a quick guide on sending an Outlook calendar invite. With these easy steps, you're now equipped to manage scheduling discussions or events with minimal hassle, whether you're planning a small meeting or a large event. These invites serve as an excellent way to communicate efficiently and ensure everyone involved is well informed. Feel free to explore additional functionality within Outlook Calendar, such as setting up recurring events or syncing it with other calendars to further enhance your planning capabilities. Thanks for tuning in today and following along. I hope this guide has helped you navigate Outlook Calendar with ease. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to explore more of what Outlook's calendar is capable of. If you ever need a refresher or want to deepen your knowledge, be sure to revisit or share this video with others who might benefit from it. Happy planning!